स्टूडेंट्स येस्टरडे यू सो दैट हाउ एक्चुअली ट्रिकीज मिस्ट्रेस मिसेस फॉम फ्री सेंड सो मेनी थिंग्स टू ड्रिंक एंड ऑल दिस एक्चुअली नाउ बेर डॉक्टर एंड हिज पार्टनर्स यूजिंग लेट सी फर्दर नाउ इन नेक्स्ट पेज वॉट है वी कुड हार्डली बिलीव इट वेन द ब्रांडी गेम टू पुट अ फाइनल एज ऑन ट्रिकीज कंस्टिट्यूशन एक्चुअली नाउ यस्टरडे स्टूडेंट यू सो दैट Actually, you know, Mrs. Pumphrey has started to send wine to enrich Tricky's blood. It means to enrich the components of her blood. You know, the blood's components such as red cells are you know improved or increased by red wine. So she started to send that, but now they were very shocked and surprised to see that even brandy is also been sent now, his student. What is the brandy? Brandy is again a, a wine, a strong alcoholic wine, which is you know sometimes you know you can look the full meaning of brandy here, student. A strong alcoholic spirit, distilled from wine or fermented fruit juice. You know it is made from fruit juice also, but it is a very strong uh, wine, and it is considered that it can give us. Uh, enormous strength and it can boost our energy or you know enrich our blood components you know if you want to see the peak of uh, brandy let me show you so a student actually uh, you know let me find where the cursor you no know. yeah the brandy is this look at it this is the brandy that you know considered a very strong alcoholic wine so now mrs fompri has started to send even brandy so you know after knowing uh, after this after seeing this oh you know everyone now um, understood why tricky was so fat and why tricky's condition was like that because you know if a dog would drink alcohol or so much of wine you know all sort of alcohol red wine and brandy then uh, it's very obvious that his health would deteriorate and that's what happens with here uh, with uh, tricky here also you know com constitution uh, is a word that you know the meaning but actually here the constitution has been used you know for the composition of something uh, or you know actually the tricky's condition is like that because you know uh why tricky's condition is like, like that because he was drinking a lot of alcohol so now we will get to see here that the meaning of composition is actually so the constitution is a person's physical state or um, you know vitality health and strength so physical strength of uh, uh, tricky why his physical strength is so poor that is because he drinks so much uh alcohol and brandy and all sort of wine actually so this was the main reason now everyone understood that for uh, for few nights the fine spirit was rolled around fine spirit here a student denotes to you know brandy brandy is a strong spirited wine i as i have explained you so here the um, fine spirit refers to fine spirit refers to uh brandy so actually for the next few nights for doctor and for his partner it was like party nights they were having brandy at night so that is why he is written he is writing you know nights of the spirit was rolled around inhaled and reverently drunk you know they were everyone was actually inhaling the brandy inhaling means you know uh, when you take something inside through your mouth uh, or nose you know that is known as inhaling um, so they were drinking the brandy reverently you know with respectfully with deep respect um, they were just enjoying that so the reverent word has been used here in a way to show some irony also to show some humor that they were you know drinking you know some must the must hokar pee rahe the aur ek in a way they were thanking mrs fumphrey also so that is why um, the reverently word has been used the word reverently means here student with deep and solemn respect now let's see further what happens 
they were the days of content started well with extra egg in the morning improved and sustained by the midday wine and finishing luxuriously round the fire with brandy now those days were great days for doctor and his father and his partners you know the mr hadiot the narrator of the story is telling you that those days were the days of content content means satisfaction is starting well you know first their day actually at that time starts with egg in the morning and then the day starts with and then in the midday they used to drink wine and then their day ends up with brandy around the fire you know you don't know in european countries they generally uh, you know spend um, few times of the day around the fire also so you know um, their day ends where the where um, uh, their day actually ends around the fire drinking some brandy it was a temptation to keep tricky on as a permanent guest now that you know for everyone if they were getting so much of favor and if they are getting so much you know things to drink and eat so it would be very obvious that it would tempt them to keep tricky as a permanent guest because all these things were coming from mrs pumphrey only because tricky is here she was sending everything for tricky for brandy wine eggs and all those edible things so actually you know mrs pumphrey was a very rich lady and not everyone can afford brandy or some other expensive uh, wine so everyone in the surgery at the surgery including the doctor mr hadiot was quite tempted that they should keep the tricky app as long as possible but uh, mr hadiot knew that it's not possible as mrs fomfrey was suffering a lot um, you know uh, in the separation of uh, tricky so actually first student you see the meaning of temptation you know temptation is actually when you are urged to do something जब आप उत्तेजित हो जाते हैं कोई करने के लिए दैट इज एक्चुअली नोन एज यू नो यू आर टेम्पटेड टू डू दैट सच एज यू नो लुक एट एयर यू नो अर्ज टू डू समथिंग सो नाउ लेट्स सी फर्दर व्हाट हैपेंस नाउ सो एक्चुअली आफ्टर अ फोर्थ नाइट मिस्टर हैरियोट फेल्ट कंपेल टू फोन एंड टेल मिसेस फंफरी दैट द लिटिल डॉग हैड रिकवर्ड एंड वॉज अबेटिंग कलेक्शन so now you know after a period of fortnight fortnight student here a period of 14 days or nights are considered uh, as fortnight you know the period of two weeks is known as fortnight so after keeping the tricky at the surgery for two weeks mr hadio decided now decided that now it's high time that we should call mrs fomfrey and tell her everything that his dog has recovered and now she can collect Him. compelled means a student you know um, obliged when you are obliged to do something when you do not have any other alternative or choice but to do that thing you know jab aap majboor ho jate hain koi kaam karne ke liye then it is said you are compelled to do that <laughs> now let's further within minutes about 30 feet of gleaming black metal drew up outside the surgery the sofa opened the door and i could just make out the figure of mrs fomfrey almost lost in the interior her her hands were tightly clasped clasped in front of her her lips trembled oh mr harrier do tell me the truth is he really better <laughs> now as soon as the doctor calls mrs fomfrey that now she can come and collect uh um, tricky you know just within the minutes just within the few minutes actually a very gleaming and black metal you know student look at here you know 30 feet of gleaming black metal this shows the car this denote the actually car of mrs Miss, mrs fomfrey uh, you know mrs fomfrey had a big car actually it was a car of 30 feet and gleaming gleaming means shining it was a brightly <coughs> shining car you know made uh, which was black in color so you know this line denotes describes car you know black metal you know car is generally made of metal 
सो इट इज अ थिंग मेड ऑफ मेटल सो सी कम्स इन इन हर कार विच इज थर्टी फिट लॉन्ग एंड इट्स अ वेरी साइनिंग कार एंड इट्स ब्लैक इन कलर यू नो जस्ट ड्रीव अप आउटसाइड द सर्जरी प्लेस ऑफ द डॉक्टर एंड द सोफा ओपन द डोर यू नो स्टूडेंट हु द सॉफर हेयर सॉफर हेयर इज एक्चुअली द प्राइवेट और पर्सनल ड्राइवर ऑफ योर कार इज नोन एज सॉफर द करेक्ट प्रोनाउंसिएशन ऑफ सॉफर इज सॉफर सी एच ए यू डबल एफ ई यू आर द करेक्ट प्रोनाउंसिएशन ऑफ दिस वर्ड स्टूडेंट इज एक्चुअली सॉफर यू कैन सी इट्स डिफिनेशन हेयर सॉफर इज एक्चुअली अ पर्सन एम्प्लॉयड टू ड्राइव अ प्राइवेट और हायर्ड कार दिस शोज दैट मिसिस फम्फ्री वॉज क्वाइट अ रीच लेडी सी हैड यू नो सो मेनी लग्जरियस थिंग्स सो एक्चुअली यू नो स्टूडेंट्स यू नो आफ्टर दैट वेन सी रीच एट द सर्जरी द सॉफर द ड्राइवर ऑफ द कार एक्चुअली ओपन द डोर ऑफ द कार एंड द नरेटर मिस्टर हैडियोट ओनली कुड मेक आउट दैट द मिसेस फफरी इज एक्चुअली इन साइड द कार यू नो फ्रॉम द इंटरियर इट मीन्स दैट फ्रॉम द इन साइड ऑफ द कार इन इन साइड ऑफ द कार मिस्टर हैडियोट जस्ट मेक आउट द फीगर जस्ट ही गेस दैट इट इज लुकिंग लाइक मिसिस फम्फ्री इज इन साइड द कार हर सेल्फ and uh, she is sitting by you know clasping her hand in front of so you know she was actually pressing her hand this shows her nervousness this shows that mrs fomfrey was very nervous that uh in, in sitting in the car she was worried for the tricky she was still not sure that whether mr hadiot had told her truth or not her lips trembled and her ribs were trembling also this shows again her nervousness you know you understand a student what is a tremble a tremble shaking her lips were shaking when you were very much nervous or scared then if you are trying to talk your lips actually tremble and then she asks to mr hadiot that she still not believe Uh, that um, her dog is fit and fine so um, she wants to make it sure so again she is asking yeah mr hadio just tell me the truth is he really better so now mr hadio is replying her yes he is fine there's no need for you to get out of the car i will go and fetch him mr hadio knew that if uh, mr F- mrs fumfrey will come inside she would see everything and she would see in which condition her dog leaves her so he just go you know told her that you need not to go out of you didn't you need not to come out of the car i will fetch you the tricky fetch means go and bring back something i walked through the house into the garden a mass of dogs was hurtling round and round the lawn and in the midst ears flapping tall waving was the little golden figure of tricky so now actually narrator actually went through the house into the garden where the, where there were so many dogs a mass of dogs actually represents that there were so many dogs hurtling hurtling means moving here and there moving round and round in the lawn and in the mid of or in the midst of all these dogs you know a student mid means in you know, among between in the midst of all these dogs there was one dog whose ears were flapping tail was waving and it was really a little golden dog of little golden dog and who which was this dog it was actually tricky among all this dog and so now we are actually seeing in a way the description of tricky also tricky's ears was quite big it was flapping around then and it was he was waving his tail like the normal dog and its figure was golden just in two weeks he had been transformed into a light hard muscled animal light here a student represents light you know solid and it now just in two weeks you know um, tricky has become a very strong animal before that when he arrived here he was so big that he couldn't even move her himself but now he has become full fit and fine and an an athletic dog he was keeping up well with the pack he was actually doing very well with other dogs there in the pack back is the group of dog stretching out in great bounds his chest almost 
burst brushing the ground you know actually now the dog has become so powerful that it just sprang you know just jumps stretch out and great bounce great bounce here students uh, refers to strides the long strides that uh, tricky can take now so tricky actually has become a very strong dog now long strides he can move into long strides now students and actually um, he he can stretch his body in long stride and he just has become so bright so bright that you know so wide so wide that it can touch the ground you know his chest was very solid wide and it was almost touching the ground brushing the ground here is means just kissing and touching the ground now actually the narrator carried him back along the passes to the front of the house the sofa was still holding the car door open and when tricky saw his now the narrator actually took the uh, took the tri tricky along the passes in front of the house and then uh, actually at that time when he when narrator um, took the um, tricky there the sofa of the car was actually still holding the door of the car and when as soon as the tricky actually saw the um, as soon as the tricky actually saw Mrs. Fumfree, he just took off from the narrator's arms, trim in a tremendous leap. A tremendous leap means to say that you know, in a very heavy, long leap. Leap means jump. Tricky just jumped from the lap of the narrator and just jumped into the lap of Mr. Mrs. Fumfree. And uh, and with this jump, uh, Mrs. Fumfrey was a bit shocked, and she was startled. As so well, startled means ghabra jana. She was excited a bit, and she had to defend herself also because the dog actually sprang all over her. And उनके चारों तरफ उनके ऊपर जो है वो छा गया. You know, he just sprang all over, sprang all over the Mrs. Fumfrey because he was seeing the Mrs. Fumfrey after a long time. Actually, after fourteen days. and then like a normal typical dog as every dog actually licks the face and other body parts of uh, his her master or mistress just like that tricky also started to lick the face of mrs fumfrey you know lick means uh, chatna and he started to lick her face her face means mrs fumfrey face and start barking also During the excitement, I helped the sofa to bring out the beds, toys, cushions, coats, and balls. None of which had been used. You know, <laughs> when Tricky came into the surgery uh, on that day, actually, my sister had you didn't take anything. Uh, he just moved from there in his car. You know, after um, that, actually, Miss Mrs. Pumphrey sent everything, every belongings of. Um, hot dog uh, tree, um, tricky to the surgery so that is why all those things of tricky's hair toys cushions coats balls and all those things none of which have actually used because uh, you know mr harryot was treating um, you know, the uh, uh, tricky in a natural way in a normal way and he was actually leading him to live a natural and normal life As the car moved away, Mrs. Fumphrey leaned out of the window. Tears shone in her eyes. Her lips trembled. Oh, Mr. Harriot, she cried. How can I ever thank you? This is a triumph of surgery. So this was actually the last final thanking line, a uh, line of gratitude spoken by Mrs. Harriot, which became the title of the story. and actually when the you know, you know when the door of the car was shut and and mrs fumfrey actually took out to her head from the window and leaned her head out of the window leaned means you know bow down bowing down jhukna you know at that time tears were easily evident in the eyes of mrs fumfrey in mrs fumfrey's eyes and her lips were trembled also but in with trembling lips she said to mr harryot that she cannot thank there are no words she does not have any word to thank 
Mr. Harriot. And then finally she says, this is a miracle. This is actually a triumph of surgery. Triumph of surgery means a victory of surgery. So, you know, Mr. Red, but the question again comes where it was that again when uh, Tricky would start living the life that he was living with uh, Mrs. Fumfrey, again he will become sick or ill. So, what would happen then? But, you know, this is the story that ends here. Tomorrow we will discuss the question and answer of this lesson. Thanks everyone.